Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. So far, five problems I have completed. Now in this video, sixth problem on solving the LPP by graphical method. So if you want the complete command on this topic, watch all the videos. Don't skip in between. Don't join in between. Watch the video from beginning till end. Always keep a notebook, calculator, pen, pencil ready while watching the video and make a note of every point which I am explaining. So before starting the next problem, that is problem number 6, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep ready. Take a screenshot of the points, then I will explain every point. Now, see the sixth problem. Solve the following LPP using graphical method. Maximize Z is equal to 80x1 plus 120x2. This is the objective function. Then subject to constraints. Three, four constraints are given. x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 9. So here I have written the same problem. See carefully here. Objective function maximize z is equal to 80x1 plus 120x2. Subject to constraints x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 9. Right? And the second constraint x1 greater than or equal to 2. Then x2 greater than or equal to 3. And last one 20x1 plus 50x2 less than or equal to 360. And non-negativity restriction is x1 and x2 are greater than or equal to 0. That's it. The so four constraints are given. So we have to draw four lines on the graph. So solving the graphical method, we have to convert the inequalities into equations as usual and finding out the coordinates. First, x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 9. So I'm making, making it equal to 9. Converting inequality into equation. Let x1 is equal to 0. So x2 will become 9. So when x1 0, x2 9 0 comma 9 when x2 is treated as 0 then x1 is equal to 9 so coordinates are 9 comma 0 so we got the coordinates of the first inequality first equation second equation x1 greater than equal to 2 so i am making i am making x1 is equal to 2 when x1 is equal to 2 x2 will be 0 next third x2 is greater than or equal to 3. So I am making x2 is equal to 3. When x2 is 3, x1 is 0. 0 comma 3. Right? Now, fourth inequality. 40x1 plus 50x2 less than or equal to 360 or 20x1 plus 50x2 is equal to 360. Convert it. Let x1 is equal to 0. If we take this 0, then 50 x2 is equal to 360 x2 360 by 50 7.2 the coordinates are x1 is 0 x2 is 7.2 let x2 is equal to 0 then 20 x1 is equal to 360 x1 360 by 20 18 so x1 is 18 x2 is 0 so we got all the coordinates of four inequalities now we need we have to take the scale on x-axis, we are taking x1. On y-axis, we are taking x2. So what is the highest value of x1? 0, 9, 2, 0, 0, 18. The highest value is 18. If you take 1 cm, 1 unit, 18 cm are required. It is very difficult. So we'll make it half. We'll make it once unit is equal to, 1 cm is equal to 2 units. So that in 9 cm we can adjust 18 units. So on x axis 1 cm 2 units. On y axis you, can, you see what is the highest value? 9003 7.20. 0. The highest is 9. So we can take 1 cm 1 unit on y axis. So x 1 cm 1 unit on y axis. Scale is over. Now draw the diagram. On x axis. 2, 4, because 1 cm, 2 units. So 2, 4, 6, 8, up to 18. Highest value is 18. On x2, 1 cm, 1 unit. 
So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up to 10 I have taken. Now we plot the points. The first <coughs> coordinate is when x1 is 0, x2 is 9. When x1 0, x2 9. So I have put a mark here. 9. When x1 is 9, x2 is 0. This is x2 0, this is 9. Now join these two points, 9, 9, right? On uh, y-axis 9, on x-axis 9. Join these two points and extend it and write it as 1. Because this is the first constant. And it is less than equal to type. Less than equal to type means the arrow should be towards the origin. So downward arrow, left arrow. This will be taken as left arrow because it is less than equal to. First constraint completed. Now second constraint is x1 2, x2 0, that's all. So x1 is 2, x2 is 0. Now draw a straight line parallel to y-axis. Straight line parallel to y-axis. Now it is saying greater than, greater than means right side. The arrow should be away from origin. So here right side I am taking, this is the second inequality. If it is less than, we would have written towards the origin. If it is greater than, away from origin, right side. So two constraints we have drawn. The third constraint, x2 is equal to 3. That means x1 is 0. This x1 0, x2 is 3. Now draw a straight line parallel to x-axis. Parallel to x-axis straight line. And this denoted as 3, third constraint. It is greater than equal to type. Greater than equal to type means away from origin, top. So if it is less than, we would have written towards the origin. But if it is greater than, upside. So this is the third line. Three lines we have drawn. Now fourth and last. 20x1. Huh? So here 0. x1 is 0. x2 is 7.2. So x1 0. x2 7.2. 7.2 is somewhere here. Then x1 is 18, x2 is 0, x2 0, here 18. Now join these two points, 7.2 and 18. Join these two points, extend and write it down as fourth inequality. Is it less than or equal to? Less than equal to, so downward. This will be downward arrow, towards the origin. That's all. We have drawn all the four lines. Now we have to find out what is a feasible region. Now this line says, this line says the feasible region will be upward. So that means we don't have the feasible region downward. It is saying upward. Right? Now this line, this uh, parallel line, this line says it is right side. Right side means this is not the feasible region, right side. This first line says it is downward. It is downward. So this is not the feasible region. And this line says it is downward. That means this is not the feasible region. Now you can see which is the bounded feasible region. This is the bounded feasible region. And we, uh, we have given the names O, P, Q, R. The corner points touching the feasible region are O, P, Q, R. And our solution lies at one of these corner points. We have to evaluate, we have to find out what are the coordinates of O, P, Q, R. So here, the shaded area in the above graph is the feasible region. The corner points touching the feasible region are O, P, Q, R. Solution lies at one of the corner points. The so coordinates of the corner points are O, P, Q, R. We have to find out. How to find out which of the two lines intersecting at the point, at the corner point. We have to find out. That's why I have written the numbers here. So that easily you can identify which two lines are intersecting. Now, coordinates O. At this O point, which are the two lines intersecting here? You can see this line 2 and this line 3. The second and third, second and third constraint 
are intersecting at O. So here the lines intersecting at O are second and third. What is second and what is third? Second is uh, x1 is equal to 2 and third is x2 is equal to 3. So here x1 2 x2 3. So 2 and 3. So I have written the coordinates of O are 2 and 3. Now I am coming to the quarter, intersection P. At P, which of the two lines intersecting at P, you can observe here, this is the second and this is the fourth. The second and fourth constraints are intersecting. The two lines intersecting at P are second and fourth. Which is the second one? x1 is equal to 2. Which is the fourth one? 20x1 plus 50x2 is equal to 60. So x1 is equal to 2 and 20x1 plus 50x2 is equal to 360. Now we have to, by using this, we have to find out what are the coordinates of P. Now substitute the value of x1 in this equation. When x1 is, uh, when x1 is there, write 2 in place of x1. Here. You can see carefully here. Substituting the value of x1 in the given equation. 20x1 plus 50x2 is equal to 360. 20 into 2 is 40 plus 3 50x2 take this 40 to RHS so minus 40 so 50x2 is equal to 320x2 is equal to 320 by 56.4 so x2 x1 value already we have x1 is equal to 2 and x2 is equal to 6.4 so we got the coordinates of p that is 2 comma 6.4 now we have to find out what are the coordinates of q q which are the two lines intersecting at uh, q you can see here two lines are intersecting. The two lines are 2 and 4. 2 and 4. These are the two lines intersecting at Q. The two lines intersecting at Q are 1 and 4. Q. Q it is 1 and 4. This is 1 and this is 4. This is the first line and this is the fourth line. 1 and 4. The first is x1 plus x2 is equal to 9 and fourth is 20x1 plus 50x2 360. Now multiply the first equation by 20 so that we can be able to cancel. So 20 into x1, 20x1, 20 into x2, 20x2, 20 into 9 is 180. Now second inequality is same, 20x1 plus 50x2 is equal to 360. Then change the sign, minus, minus, minus. So what will happen, 20x1 minus 20x1 get cancelled. Plus 20x2 minus 50x2 is minus 30x2 is equal to 180 minus 360 is minus 180. Now cancel minus minus 30x2 is equal to 180. X2 is 180 by 36. So we got the value of x2, 6. Now substituting the value of x2 in equation 1. What is the equation 1 here? x1 plus x2 is equal to 9. So x1 plus x2 just now we got 6 is equal to 9. Take this 6 to RHS minus 6. So x1 is 3. So we got x1 and x2 both 3 comma 6. So the coordinates of Q are 3 comma 6. Lastly we want the coordinates of R. Which are the two lines intersecting at R? Now you can see R. Here this one. First and third. First and third are intersecting at R. First and third. First is x1 plus x2 is equal to 9. x1 plus x2 is equal to 9. First one. And the third one is x2 is equal to 3. x2 is equal to 3. Substituting the value of x2 in this equation. x1 plus x2 is equal to 9 x1 plus 3 is equal to 9, take 3 to RHS, so x1 is 6. The coordinates are 6, 3. So R coordinates 6, 3. That's all. We got all the coordinates of coronal points. Now we evaluate the objective function. So there is no space there, that's why I have written the table here. Evaluation of objective function. Coronal point O, P, Q, R. All the coronal point coordinates are written. Objective function is given in the first line. 80x1 plus 120x2. This is the objective. And z value. 
Now substitute the value of x1 and x2 from here. x1 is 2, x2 is 3. So 80 into 2 plus 120 into 3, 520. Then 2 and 6.4. x1, 2 and x2, 6.4. So 80 into 2 plus 120 into 6.4, 928. Similarly, x1 is 3, x2 is 6. 80 into 3 plus 120 into 6, 960. Then 6 and 3. x1 is 6 x2 is 3, 80 into 6 plus 120 into 3, 840. Now find out what is the highest value of z. The highest value of z is 960. At which corner point? Q. What are the values are at Q? 3 and 6. So x1 is equal to 3, x2 is equal to 6. That is our solution, answer. So final answer is x1 is equal to 3, x2 is equal to 6 and the maximum z is 960. That's all. This is the end of problem number 6. Still two more problems are there, 7th and 8th, that will continue in the next video. So if you are satisfied, give a like to the video, share my channel, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. And by the super thanks which is given below my video, inshallah we will continue the next problem in the next video.